Hi YouTube, Susan here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I have decided to fulfill a request um, from one of my viewers who has asked for another 10 things you don't know about me videos. Um, just so you guys can get to know me a little bit better. And uh, hopefully it'll answer some of your questions. If it doesn't, if there's something you would like to know specifically that I don't answer in this video or haven't answered in my other two videos, I'll leave the links in the description box of this video to those so you can get all my videos that I've answered questions on. Um, after this one, of course, stay tuned for here. Um, I want to keep this fairly short. So I um, googled some get to know me questions uh, that I haven't answered so far um, in the other two videos. Um, so let's get to them, shall we? Number one, are you left or right handed? Right handed. Thanks. In the majority, I think. Uh, anyway, number two, what is your longest relationship so far? Okay. Depends on what you mean by relationship. If it's um, significant other, that's my husband, Kevin. Uh, we will be married 15 years next week on Thursday, the 15th, August 15th. Yes, 15 years, um, 16 years, four months together at that point. Um, if it means your longest relationship period other than your family of origin obviously they're they're going to be the longest um that would be my best friends um i am lucky enough to have a few of them <laughs> um bonnie trish sandra i've known all of those three ladies those wonderful ladies and blessed by having such lifelong friendships um but they're in the in the range of 28 years i've known them so <laughs> you guys i don't know what i'd do without you um number three three things that make you happy okay reading makes me happy i i love to read i do so every night before bed and on long trips and you know any chance I get. I always have a book with me. Keep me occupied. Um, okay. The reading makes me happy. Friends obviously make me happy. I love spending time with friends and talking to them on the phone if they're too far away. I, I love talking to them. And jewelry. Um, earrings, rings, uh, necklaces usually. Um, I love jewelry it's it's beautiful um okay number four three things that upset you ooh ooh well it's kind of the flip side of this one right? um one is conflict two is friends and loved ones who are ill or upset and i can't do anything about it and three is broken relationships things that upset me are broken relationships there's always a way to talk through stuff there should be if both sides care enough um, but sometimes it's one-sided and that upsets me um, okay number five what year were you born for a woman that's really bad for some reason I don't know why I am proud to say I was born in 1961. I am 57 years old. I'll be 58 in November of this year. November 21st is my birthday. <laughs> um, and I said I'm proud to say I'm 58 because a lot of people aren't given the benefit of living even that long. So, um, yeah. Age is nothing to be ashamed of or shy away from answering. So, I'm 57, soon to be 58. Okay, six. Tea or coffee? 
<laughs> Coffee. I like big cups. I cannot lie. <laughs> okay. Tea for the longest time. Uh, when I was growing up, my dad's Scottish. He was Scottish. He's passed on since. Um, but he was Scottish, so there was always tea on, mother. You know. Um, and then I married my first husband. He was a trucker, and he got me onto coffee. Well, so now um, I kind of go on Jags, one or the other. Um, I don't tend to mix them up. I, I drink all tea all the time, or I drink coffee all the time. I don't, I don't alternate too much. Um, currently, I'm on a coffee Jag. <laughs> Um, but I will probably re resort back to tea again if I get sick or, you know, things happen. Uh, or I just want to change. So there you go. Um, number seven. Uh, do you use a PC or a Mac? Okay. I was going to go Mac a while ago when I got my last computer. I was, eh. But I couldn't afford the price point, okay? Macs are still out there price-wise. So, um, I use a PC. Um, I used to just know how to turn it on, but now I can. I've built uh, desktop tower systems, put in the hard drives, put in the motherboard, put in everything, and hooked it all up with wiring, etc., and done the whole thing. Um, I know how to diagnose problems with software and hardware, and I can fix it <laughs> pretty much, pretty much unless it's cooked, and then it's like, yeah, replace the part. Um, but I also know how to do a full backup, and I, I know how to reload Windows, and I've been around since Windows, uh, let's see, 98. Um, yeah, that's a lot of, a lot of years. So... Um, yeah, I'm still using a, a PC. I have a desktop tower system um, that is my main unit, and I have this laptop, which is also a PC. Uh, okay, number eight. Eight. Five and three is eight. Okay. <laughs> what is one pet peeve you have? Okay, pet peeves are small, irritating things that not may not irritate other people but they really dance on your last nerve <laughs> for some reason it's just a thing you have and just <sighs> bugs you okay my one of my pet peeves and i have a few of them <laughs> one of them is people in walmart that stop dead in the middle of an aisle um in the door the exit door to to go out to the parking lot they just stop for no reason <laughs> with no concern about people around them trying to get through the doorway or down the aisle or whatever, you know, and they just stop. Like, what? <laughs> Doesn't make sense to me, but that is something that really drives me ape. It just does. Okay. <laughs> Nine. How do I... Sh eh. <laughs> I can't make my pinky. Okay. <laughs> Five and four is nine. Okay. Are you dealing with any health issues? Okay, yes, I have asthma and I have type 2 diabetes. Okay, I take two puffers for asthma. One is steroid I take every day. And then I have another puffer that is for rescue inhaling. Um, if I have an asthma attack, that medicine gets me breathing right away, usually. Okay, um, for my... Type 2 diabetes, I take metformin pills at breakfast and at dinner. I'm just on pills, just oral medication, no insulin at all yet. Um, so I'm trying to take better care of my health. I quit smoking when I was diagnosed with type 2. That was seven years ago because it affects your small blood vessels, blood vessels and so does smoking. So... The best thing I could do at that time was quit smoking. Did that with Champix. I've been quit ever since. Seven years. No problem. Um, 
and I recently started walking more. Um, if you have a look on my channel, I've started basically a vlog updating you on my progress with walking and step counting, etc. Trying to get more activity in and be healthier. None of us are getting any younger. So um, given that I have asthma and type 2, I need to get more proactive with my health. So uh, quitting smoking was a big one. Now I got to get the exercise thing going and try and drop some weight and get healthier and more fit. So uh, please join me on that journey and uh, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell. And, you know, then you'll get all my videos uh, sent to your inbox when I upload a video. Anyway, number 10. Okay, we're at the end. Um, what has required the most courage in your life so far? That is an easy one. The most courage I've had to have and the thing that has freed me the most because I conquered it was leaving my ex-husband who was abusive. Okay. Um, I left with my two sons who were seven and nine at the time. They are now full grown adults with families of their own. Um, and I'm pleased to say that I showed them that that is not what a man is supposed to be. Um, so that is the, the most courageous that I've had to be so far, because when you leave an abusive, uh, mate, that's when the abuse escalates to the point where it's dangerous. I've had to stay in a, a shelter a um, couple of times uh, and things ramped up and yeah, it was scary, but I got away and I'm away and now I am lucky, lucky to have found love the second time around and I got a winner this time. Uh, we share our hobbies together. We're both into RC. Um, we get along great for the most part. Like everybody has their ups and downs, but he would never raise a hand to me and treats me like gold. I love it. And I love him. Um, Kev, if you're watching, love you, honey. Um, looking forward to celebrating our anniversary next week. Anyway, so there you go. There you go. Uh, get to know me a little bit better. Again, if there are questions you'd like answers to, please drop them in the comment section below and I'll uh, see if I can answer them for you. Um, either in the comments or I'll, I'll make another video if I get a lot of them. So uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.